Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Political Ombudsman Donna Parchment Brown says Dr. Michelle Charles, a recently elected JLP legislator, may have attempted to influence voters through her family business in last year's polls. However, Dr. Charles says she's yet to see the letter in which the Ombudsman has recommended a public apology and mentorship. A former Indicom investigator, 28-year-old Lehane Malcolm, is in police custody in Canada over the alleged stabbing death of his male lover, who was a former medical doctor at the Cornell Regional Hospital in St. James. The body of the 38-year-old deceased Dr. Rupert Brown, a graduate of the Cornwall College and the University of the West Indies, was found on February 27 in an apartment he shared with Mr. Malcolm. Dancehall artist Ryan McFarlane, more popularly known as Ritical, was denied bail when he appeared in court on Thursday. The 25-year-old DJ who is charged with illegal possession of a firearm and illegal possession of ammunition is to return to court on March 24. A man seen in a video recorded tussle with a policeman in Maypen Clarendon on Thursday has been taken into custody. It's not clear what led to the altercation, but the man is facing charges for allegedly assaulting the cop and resisting arrest. In sports, Kieran Pollard struck six sixes in one over in West Indies' extraordinary four-wicket T20 win over Sri Lanka Wednesday night to lead the three-match series 1-0. Six sixes for Kieran Pollard! Herschel Gibbs, you brought saying you have company. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $149.72, the British pound sterling for $213.02, and the Canadian dollar for $121.27. In your weather forecast, it will be partly cloudy on Friday morning. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers across hilly inland areas. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Jovan Johnson.